All right, I'm here with Paul Felder, who's taking on Stevie Ray at UFC Fight Night Glasgow. So first of all, when that fight was put forward to you, what was your initial thoughts? Well, you know, uh, kind of like Stevie was uh, at the forefront of wanting to get the fight, so was I. Uh, I had already asked for it when I watched his fight with Lozon. It was a fight I was interested in. You know, he's coming off two big wins, one over a guy that I lost a split decision to. Um, I saw him fight that fight live in Belfast. I was a guest fighter. I had a lot of questions about if Stevie was on my radar. So I, I feel like we're two guys that have always gotten along but know that there's the, the potential that we're going to get matched up. And uh, with our styles, I feel like it's a fan fight that, that people have wanted for a while anyway. So once, once it was said on Twitter, I you know, called my manager. I said, let's get that fight and we'll go over there and fight him in his hometown, no problem. And is it like an issue when you think fighting on his um, like home turf? I mean, it's always, it's always going to give him excitement. But if you know how to handle pressure, like I feel like I do, it also, when you're the heel or when you're the bad guy, you kind of feed into that too. And that's what I plan on doing on Sunday night is, you know, I've told everybody I'm coming off a lot of, uh, you know, uh, personal adversity with my father and stuff like that. He finally passed away right before I started training camp for this. So, uh, and I told everybody, you know, I have his ashes here in this, and this will be going with me on the walk to that cage. So it, all the fans, 10,000 people in that hydro, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I've got who I need with me. So at the end of the day, it's, it's two martial artists and they're going to fight and uh, they can't get in there with him. Hopefully they don't get in there with him. Then I'll be in trouble. And also, you did have like a little rivalry going on, on with Mark the AK. So, how comes that fight didn't come to fruition? Uh, you got to ask Mark's management on that one because um, when he started coming at me on Twitter and, and all that, I, I immediately said, I wanted it here. And I said, let's, let's fight him over in Scotland. And uh, we said yes. You know, Sean Shelby tried to set it up and he, 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 the money wasn't right for him. And uh, that's what he said. He was getting a new contract. and. He, to fight a veteran, he, you know, he wanted more money. And hey, you know what? I, it, it is what it is. But look what happened, you know. So um, he got some humble pie, but uh, I think he'll grow from it. Honestly, I have no, no real hatred for the guy. I have no beef. He's another fighter, and I just thought it would be a, a, a pretty high-profile fight with all the hype he's got coming, and people know the style that I bring. So it's a shame it didn't happen. But he's still young in his career, so there's still plenty of possibilities. And was you expecting this fight to be like the co-main event? Because I think a lot of people thought it would have been the co-main event, but obviously it's not. So what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, I, I really did. I thought it was going to be at least co-main. Me and him were both pushing to make it uh, a five-round main event because there's some props that come with being the main event as well, if anybody knows that. So, uh, you know, that was something I wanted. It would help me out and uh, get our hype trains both going. But, I mean, we're getting treated as if we're, you know, sometimes when there's a big third fight, you get it's kind of like the Coco main event. So I'm okay with that too. Me and him getting a lot of hype and publicity. And I think this is the fight that the fans, honest to God, are more interested in than anything on the card. Nothing against any of the other fighters, but from the buzz I've been getting, people want to see us throw down. And you spent some time at Rufus Sport for this camp. So how did that go? Yeah, this is my second training camp where I did my full, full training camp there. I live... Rufus Sport is down in a basement, first of all, with no windows, no nothing other than just the gym. And there's an old office in the back that has been converted into a, an apartment, if you will, uh, with a futon, a fridge, a hot plate, a television, and some racks for my clothes. And I spent uh, about six and a half weeks there. So I walk out of my room onto the mat for training. And uh, it's been the best thing. Those guys uh, really took me in and made me part of the family. And uh, I, I've grown as a martial artist since being there. And I know everybody says that, but this school really is a place that takes martial arts to heart. And, and Duke really has taught me new things that even though I'm you know, third year almost into my UFC career, yet alone my, my martial arts life, I've, I've grown and learned as a, as a fighter. Uh, and you and Steve are both strikers, so... How do you see this fight like unfolding between the two? Do you think it's going to go to the ground or anything, or do you just see it being like a stand-up war? Just I mean, how do you feel? I, I'm hoping that it's the latter and it's a stand-up war. But I mean, it's mixed martial arts. We don't know where this fight's going to go. Uh, you know, I don't know his game plan, but I can tell you that we we've, we've prepared for the shot and we prepared for the grappling because I'm not going to get coaxed into oh yeah I'm in my hometown I'm going to stand and brawl. More important than anything, he wants to win. 
not just put on a show. So we're ready for him to try to shoot and take me down. And how do you feel the Scottish crowd are going to be towards you on, on Saturday? Because last, I think it was in, back in 2015, it was a great crowd. So how do you feel they're going to be to you? Oh, I think it's going to be absolute madness. Um, but, you know, you guys know I fought Ronaldo in Brasilia, which is where he's from. Uh, I think these guys will be even crazier because they get the UFC even less here in Scotland than they do over in Brazil. Uh, I'm, I'm excited though, man. I, I expect booze. I expect it to be crazy. But the funny thing is I feel like if I wasn't fighting Stevie and I was fighting anybody else from another country, I feel like I'd have almost hometown support from, from this kind of a crowd. And So I think at the end of the day, once we start throwing, man, they're just going to go nuts for the fight itself. But I expect some some roughage on the way out there to the cage. And how do you see this, your hand getting raised? Uh, any, any means necessary. I'm coming in looking for a finish. I want to get out as soon as possible, as always. But I, I know he's a tough dude. I know he's a, a well-rounded fighter. So we're absolutely prepared to go wherever it needs to go and full three rounds. But I'd love to get out of there in one and have a pint as, as soon as possible at this point.